In this video, I will be providing you with a little more information about adding a four-step winder. So here we have a three-step winder. And this would be something I'm assuming an architect would choose over a four-step winder. However, by the time you're done watching the video, I will let you make your decision on which one you want to use. Because in some areas, you're still allowed to build this type of winder, where it comes down to to a point and might force you to walk in the center to go up and down the stairway safely. However, and I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that that's why they changed the building codes to this in some areas because most of the time we're going down the stairway or up the stairway. We are going to be going on the inside and not the outside. We're not going to step over here and walk up the stairway. We're going to be grabbing onto the handrail and cruising around the corner corner here and probably stepping around these areas and on this stairway here that might mean that you're going to be stepping around these areas and we can see that there's not a lot of room here and of course that could create a safety problem. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at this type of stairway where we have a six inch minimum inside step distance. So this is the minimum six inches and not coming to a direct point we're either going to have something like this or something like this. And over here we have six inches where we might have eight and three quarter inches here, depending upon how the building inspector is going to measure it. And if we use the same layout here, we put four steps in the same area here, you can see where we're probably not going to have our six inches. However, if we want to fix that, all we need to do is make this a little wider. 10 and 3 eighths here, 14 and a half inches here to make our local building inspector happy. However, we are going to need to make this stairway a little wider. And that's usually all we're going to need to do to get this design here to work with most of our local building codes. That might require a 36 inch minimum width for the stairway, six inch minimum inside tread measurements. And of course, we're also going to need to to meet another building code requirement and that will be a walk line that is usually going to be established if we come in one foot from the inside of the stairway. So one foot in from the inside and then this measurement here, this distance here, needs to meet another building code and that would be the minimum tread depth. And for most residential stairways that's going to be 10 inches. However, some building codes might allow you to have 9 inches inches. However, that's not going to be a problem with this stairway where we have 11 inches and one foot three and a half inches. Now what happens if you lay out your stairway and you need to make this measurement a little bit longer? Then you'll do something like this. You'll just simply move this measurement over and then you might need to move this measurement over also to get the tread width and the tread depth to meet your local building codes. So for example, if my building codes required a one foot minimum stair tread depth. Then I would just need to come in 12 inches there. And if the building inspector wants to see a different walk line, something like this, and they're not going to use something like this, then you're still going to be okay here. However, that would be up to your local building inspector. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the other stairway design where you might be allowed to meet at a center point. And if you thought this stairway was unsafe, wait till you get over here. And if you're interested in seeing what these stairs look like, I would suggest looking for stairways in other countries because there are plenty of designs like these on the internet. So if I come in one foot for a walk line, I'm going to have five inches here, seven inches, seven inches, and five inches. So in order to get our six inch minimum inside measurement for the tread, we're going to need to come in a little further and then make the stairway a little bit wider to create a safer stairway like this. And I would like to end the video with pointing out that just because your local building department allows you to build this type of stairway doesn't mean that you shouldn't build this type of stairway. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't build this type of stairway. So not too difficult. However, if you do not have enough room in your house for this type of stairway, then you might be forced to use this one. 